Hey Chicky, so okay, today we're doing a rainbow jigsaw puzzle. This is basically inspired by a video I posted on my Instagram account, which I found on a Facebook page last week. <laughs> I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. It's fun. Now I'm starting off with a white base on all of my nails and because Keys to Black sent me a new bullet, bottle, 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 I tried to make, make bottle and polish one word. They, tr they sent me a new bottle of French white. I thought I'd use that. And then I thought, well, why not use all the rainbow colours from, all, all my rainbow colours from Keys to Black, which is what I'm going to be doing. Anybody be forgiven for thinking that, that that was the only polish that I had in my collection was Keys to Black? That's not true. It just seems that every time I look up on my shelf, that's the one I want to pick up. So that's just what I'm doing. Anyway, French white is a beautiful white polish. It's perfectly opaque in two thin coats. I really love it. I think I love it as much as I love Alpine Snow. And yeah, that's it. They're the only two I really, really like. <laughs> oh, actually, She She Cosmetics Single White Females also really, really good. It's brilliant, actually. Now I'm also going to be using some nail vinyls today from What's Up Nails and I'm obviously going to use some sesh feet over all of my nails to make sure that those nail vinyls don't pull up that white base. So that's really important step. Wait at least 15 minutes after the top coat before placing any nail vinyls on your nails. That's really important. Also I'm going to be doing a sponge gradient so I'm going to use some Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss, which is their liquid latex barrier to protect the skin around my nails. Remember, do not use this product if you are allergic to latex because as it says in its name, it has latex in it and it might not be very good for you. I'm also going to be using some pre-dampened latex free sponges. They don't come to you dampened. I have to dampen them under my own tap water. I usually use warm tap water and I get them from eBay. They are exceedingly cheap. I will put a link down below. As I said before, I'm going to be using some nail vinyls from What's Up Nails and I'm going to be using their jigsaw puzzle vinyls, which obviously was pretty obvious. <laughs> Their uh, jigsaw puzzle vinyls are the the lines between each puzzle piece are so thin you have to be really really careful when you're peeling this off the backing paper. If not, you will break them and it will be infuriatingly annoying for you. Now, no, I didn't use the the squishy stamper to to squish it down onto my nails because I forgot. If I had have remembered. I would have done that because I think it's a fabulous idea and I have used it since then which I will show you in a, in, a, an, in a video coming up and it is an absolute genius idea. I'm not even kidding. It is amazing. Like trust me, you'll see and when you do it yourself, you will really see. You'll be amazed. Now for this many I'm doing a radio radio a rainbow gradient across each across all of the nails so it's not a rainbow uh, one rainbow on each nail it's one portion of the rainbow on each nail so or two portions of the rainbow on each nail because I don't have I don't know how many colors there are anyway we're starting off with uh, like a hot pink because I didn't want to use a red and I actually don't have a red case black polish which is weird anyway I don't uh, so so we're starting off with pink and like a corally orange. So it's not a strictly speaking adhering to the rainbow rules because obviously there's not actually any pink in an actual rainbow. So we're starting that off on the index nail. I also forgot to mention because I was talking over all of that footage um, about the cutting of the sides and the end. Even if I had used the uh, the squishy stamper method to get the, the the vinyl to sit down on your nail really really flush. Uh, I still would cut the the sides off. I think that would still help. I think that still helps anyway. So as you can see, we're starting off with these colors on the index nail, and I'm rambling and rambling and rambling. Make sure to take off the liquid latex off each nail after you've finished each gradient. Don't wait till you've finished all of the gradients on each nail to take off the first lot of, uh, what do you call it, jeez, liquid latex, don't wait. It's really important that you don't wait. You do each nail first. Do, do one nail, then 
do all the cleanup and everything like that and then move on to the next nail. That's my recommendation. Now on the second nail I'm doing the uh, corally orange and the yellow and then so on and so on and so on until you get to the end of the rainbow. And of course, once all the polish is dry, your cleanup is done, you can go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, mine is set feet, as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I meant to ask at the beginning, did you see the video that I posted on Instagram about this? There was this 5,000 piece uh, jigsaw puzzle. It's all rainbow and each piece is... Ex is um, a solid color so it makes it even more difficult to create the puzzle as a whole there I think they have a 1000 one that's $40 if you go onto their website uh, and then I will link their website down below by the way and then they have like a hundred piece one for kids <laughs> so which one would you try would you try the kids one at a hundred pieces the thousand piece one or the 5,000 piece one. I want to do the 5,000 piece one. That's $150. So it's not cheap, but I would then uh, actually stick it to a backing board and put it on my wall because it's just beautiful. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. And don't forget to go and watch my previous video. And of course, yes, again, I'm going to repeat myself over and over and over again please subscribe it helps me out it helps you out because you might get like notifications from youtube and whatnot and plus it's free so i'm going now thank you bye